from uh, medical school I did a couple of years actually working with patients but after that I went back to laboratory science early in my career I isolated a protein that we called cachectin but it's known to most people now as tumor necrosis factor I understood it was involved in inflammatory processes I developed inhibitors that would block it and some of them were used in treating diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. And then I began to wonder about just how this molecule was induced and how the whole inflammatory process got started. And so my work became oriented toward innate immunity. I uh, set out to isolate the receptor for lipopolysaccharide, knowing that that was a trigger that microbes used to activate innate immunity. And it was that work that led to a Nobel Prize for me. What does it feel like to be a Nobel Prize winner? Oh, well, it, um, it's uh, something that you have to get used to. Um, of course, I was just overjoyed on the day that I learned about it. And uh, I still think it's very helpful. It gives you a certain measure of credibility that you lacked before, even though you were the very same person. Most exciting thing we're doing now is to create mutant mice that are resistant to cancer. And it's very surprising the extent to which one can do that with just one or two nucleotide changes in the whole genome, which has in the mouse 2.6 billion nucleotides. You can make an animal that's really quite normal, and yet if you inoculate it with a tumor that's lethal to wild-type mice, it will completely resist that tumor. I can see ways that this can be applied to humans as well. To me, the most exciting thing about research is the exploratory component. Uh, we use a random process to create opportunities for discovery. And every day when I go to work, I know it might be the day that we find a mutation that is really the wonderful mutation that leads to a cure for cancer, let's say, uh, or for some of the other interesting problems we work on. And that can be really exciting.